learning of a viral video marketer. This is about finding the method to the madness in viral videos. There is no uh, marketing gyan in this webinar, but it's all uh, uh, learning from the trenches of content marketing. This is uh, you know, the true experiences which I've had, the stories. And uh, so let's start right ahead. Uh, you know, the first video which, uh, you know, with which I experienced that whole viral effect, uh, before that, I used to call viral happy accidents. Like your stars are in the line, you have blessings of a guru, and boom, it you know it just went viral. So it's a happy accident. So the first video I ever made, uh, it was like a year and a half, two years back, uh, in Gurgaon, and that put me on the radio within 18 hours. The toll plaza in Gurgaon, the Gurgaon Delhi Highway, that was shutting down. I made the video. I released it on the same day it was shutting down. I uploaded it to YouTube. It was featured on Story Pig, BuzzFeed, Reddit. And it came on the homepage of NDTV, IBN Delhi Bhaskar, or Organic. That was really interesting. Let me give you a little peek uh, of what that video was all about. The Gurgaon Toll Plaza is located on Delhi Haryana border on National Highway 8. It is one of the biggest toll stops on the massive Delhi Gurgaon Expressway. Every day about 2 lakh cars pass through it and if you have waited to get across it, you know it's a pain. Long lineups, cars cutting in, jams, you know what I mean. I dread it every day. It's tiring and frustrating. Today I read the news about the toll plaza shutting down. In its last days, we at Maps of India wanted to create a happy memory of this place. So here's what we did. So uh, that was the video I made and uh, after that I joined Ixigo but I had some learnings from that video too. and the learnings were uh, topical content works. Make it newsworthy. If a journalist is looking for some content and your content is authentic and is adding value to a news item, boom, if they publish it because I've been on, the video has been on, uh, on the home page of NGTV uh, you know in the last two years many other content pieces uh, found its way to the uh, home page of NGTV as well. They were all organic because the, the, the content and the video was newsworthy. And the third learning was inspiring action. So after that, I joined Ixigo, which is the, the, the big travel search brand. And I applied these three learnings. April Fool's was coming up. And we made a, a video about uh, you know, April Fool's prank. Ixigo being a travel brand, we just took an auto rickshaw and just announced to the world that we're launching executive class auto rickshaws, which, which had, you know, a tablet computer to watch TV, uh, to watch movies. It had, you know, professionally dressed uh, driver and you know, entertainment and refreshments and blah blah blah. So that for that day, it was shared widely on Facebook, and I was, you know, like convinced that you know what, I think I've cracked the game. After this video, I was pretty sure those are the three things which are important. Uh, two key learnings here was topical content works. The fancy word for that is news jacking. News jacking nothing is nothing but your uh, breaking news. Combine that with your brand DNA, and then you have you know new jack content. And the second was the brand's DNA has to be in the video. But after that, a couple of months, we released a video called Travel Hacks, and this blew my mind and completely added new points to my learning, to my best practices, because this one reached 
26 million people, 26 million news feeds, as Facebook calls it. 7 million views at that time, 3.5 lakh shares. That was crazy because this became the most shared brand Facebook post in the Asia Pacific region in 2014. Nominated for two awards, blah, blah. How many views did you think, do you think uh, this video got on YouTube on the first day? This video on day one got 300 views and wow. died. I was depressed that night. I'm like, yeah, video come, ban karo, I can't deal with this shit. 300 views is nothing because 290 was the office people, right? <laughs> 300 views. 300 views. I'm like, shit. But next day, <clears throat> and that's when the whole game changed. The next day, we uploaded this video on Facebook as a native Facebook video, not just copy paste the YouTube link on Facebook. So we uploaded it on Facebook as a native video. And that blew my mind because on day one, it got 50,000 views. And it just, you know, blasted off from there. This is like an old screenshot. You know, people reach 25.8. It was an old screenshot, million people. 55,000 comments. That's the kind of reach, uh, the engagement we got. And 345, which eventually cost 3.50 later on. And you see the curve, it's, 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 it's 95, 96% organic, right? So this was uh, the big deal for me last year. So let me show you the video. It's again a two minute video. How uh, in the video the brand uh, was part of the narrative was part of one of the hacks and not uh, plugged uh, as an ad because I personally hate ads right so uh, that has been uh, you know a guiding principle for me as well is that the brand should be part of the story and the content should really add value and all these travel hacks are available online we just curated a bunch of them and visualized for our audiences because that had you know a perfect match of uh, the brand DNA and of course it was solving a problem. So the key learnings after this video were uh, make it share worthy. One trend I've seen in a lot of uh, videos is when friends tag their friends in uh, comments on Facebook on the video, that is everything. So the video has to be share worthy. Next is move fast and engage because the news feed is already chaotic. You have to make that impression, the first impression that a person stops to watch that video and then in the first few seconds you have to engage the person. So two, three minutes is the max. But, uh, however, this year I'm going to go even, even lower and try to uh, have the video really fast and engage fast. <coughs> Another learning from this video which we implemented later on was solve a problem, make it useful. Get obsessed about your uh, users' pain points and how you can solve them through content, through video. Because in this one, that really helped and you know, we just uh, used this best practice and applied to another video which again hit it big. Next is storytelling beats production value. This video is made on a budget of 1500 rupees, 1500. There's nothing, all of these are household items, right? And we've, like, like we've shot it on DSLR, but the battery ran out, we were really new in the game. So half the video was shot on the iPhone. And every phone today has an HD camera. It's more about storytelling than production value because the people are watching your videos on mobile screens. It's a tiny screen, it's not a TV, it's not a movie hall that you need high production value. Right, so it's a tiny screen. So that's the sensibility we need. 
Shares became the new currency on social. After this video got 3.5 lakh shares. To me, if it, any content piece, a photo, a photo album, a meme, a slide deck, or a video, if it's not share worthy, if people are not sharing, that's the only metric which matters to me, which is very important. Views, not so much. Comments, good for engagement. But shares controls all the numbers in my opinion. Because that's like a personal endorsement. The person said, you know what, I share it. Now it will show up in my timeline as my content. So that's the biggest gift you can ever get. So shares becomes the new currency on social. Facebook emerges as the game changer because Facebook has sharing in its DNA. YouTube, not so much. So Facebook, right now, like a lot of brands already have, you know, uh, thousands and uh, millions of uh, fans on Facebook. And suddenly, you know, all that audience base, you know, works for the video. And, you know, you don't need to build a YouTube subscriber base to get, you know, thousands or millions of views on videos anymore. Your Facebook audience will get you there. So Facebook is the next game changer. I'll say, you know, experiment with... Uh, Facebook video. So uh, going forward, uh, from the learnings of the travel hacks, uh, we made a hotel hacks video, which uh, got a little bit controversial, but uh, overall, you know, 95 percent was awesome. And this video became by far the most viewed video which you know we ever made. So uh, this video uh, has got like 22 million views till now. So we implemented some learnings, some best practices here first, uh, the 15 second rule. Uh, YouTube had this famous 15 second rule where it said that uh, in the first 15 seconds of the video you show what's going to come up so people expect what to see, so it keeps them on the video, it engages. So I'm like, all right, the video is about three minutes long, so in the first 15 seconds I showed them what's coming up. That really worked, got us about 8 lakh 50 thousand views. <laughs> but before I go forward, do you know what blew my mind again? That somebody in China again stole this video and posted it and cut the first three seconds, the 15 seconds. And that got like 3 million views. 3 million views. I'm like, why am I adding this thing at like 15 seconds at all if, you know, I'm, the video is capable of getting more views without it. So that has been the learning, you know, hits and misses, hits and misses. So 15 second rule. You break it down to five second rule if you want to, but again, it's nothing written in stone because you know keep experimenting. So this video went viral on WhatsApp, but there's no way to measure uh, WhatsApp. There's no analytics insights for it. I'm hoping in 2016, Facebook gives us some insight. So this video was featured on popular international blogs, blogs around the world, from Mexico to France to Brazil. And uh, again, we experimented with the call to action button, got P5 for CTR. So total views. Uh, <coughs> Now it's uh, about 900,000 views on our own channel, then 400 million, million, million somewhere, 10 million somewhere, 22 million video views. So let me show you the video hotel hacks. Okay, all right guys, we're continuing. So the other half of the battle is distribution. Once the video is ready and your, your content piece is ready, it's for any big content piece you're planning, not necessarily a video. So what has really worked in the past for us is uh, Tuesday, Wednesday were the best days for launches because uh, by the weekend it peaks. Uh, make multiple, multiple versions for the video, one for Facebook, one for YouTube, one for WhatsApp. And initial seeding, cross-platform, uh, promote to the core group, very, very important. 
initial seeding is like we have a little tradition uh, uh, at, at Exigo that whenever a big video comes out, I just go ringing bells all around the office that this is the time everyone needs to watch it and share it. Because the first 100 shares are the most crucial in 10 minutes. And that's like you, you can have your own benchmark, but that's like my benchmark. That the first 10 minutes are crucial, the first 30 minutes again cru you know, crucial. So that gives it a thrust in the outer space. Facebook is the new YouTube. So uh, you boost, you spend money on the sponsored post only when you know it's not uh, it's when it reaches a plateau. So you try to gain as much organic traction as you can, then you start boosting, not start boosting right in the beginning because Facebook is notorious for taking money out of your wallet. And of course, uh, whatever mediums you have for distribution, uh, mailers or mobile notifications, and outreach, outreach to the 3 p.m. content blogs. I call them 3 p.m. content blogs because somewhere around 3 p.m. after lunch, you check out the BuzzFeed, Scoop, Poop, Story Picks of the World, and you, you do, do some outreach and let them know this video has come out. Even though now they're charging money, back in the day, it was all organic at the same time. But again, have it, have it as part of a process, it really works. Some last words about uh, making videos. Don't make an ad. Don't even think like an ad. I mean, a lot of people, agencies, brands are obsessed about themselves and making an ad. What's the story? I'm like, to hell with the story. Don't make an ad. Number one, because honestly, people can detect bullshit from miles away. So let's make content which is interest of the users, solves uh, pain points, or celebrates their life or inspire them, or change the world. Don't start with the intent of viral. Don't even say, let's make a viral video. It's like, let's make a blockbuster movie. Only Shah Rukh Khan can say that in India. Obsess about your users. Our users are in trains, and what's the number one problem in trains? Toilets can my content solve that problem. Bingo, we have something. If you're a clothing store, a lot of people don't know how to tie a tie, you know, that bow tie. Make a video about that, you're solving a problem. Right? If it's a software company, make a how-to video, really work. Solve a problem. Obsess about your user's you know, journey with your product. Think storytelling, not high production value. I said that uh, you know, earlier as well. Why would anyone share it? That's the question I ask you know, my team and whenever we're brainstorming on ideas, why would anyone share it? Because when, once you answer that question with all honesty, that's when you have something which you know, is worthy of you know, sharing. Always be news jacking. News jacking, again, we've covered that, a fancy word for breaking news plus brand DNA. So, first impression and second first impression, very important. For a video, what's the first impression do you see? It's a thumbnail image, it's the title of the video, it's the wall copy on the Facebook whenever the video is shared. And that's the first impression anyone sees when the video shows up in the news feed, right? After that first impression is a second first impression, which is when a person clicks play, the first three to seconds make or break the video, right? In those three to six seconds, if you didn't engage the person, if you didn't hold the person's hand and take him on the journey for two, uh, two minutes, then the person is gone. <coughs> <coughs> so the first three to six seconds are very crucial. Users first, branding next. We made a video, failed miserably. 20,000 views, I don't even remember it. Why? Because you know the feedback I got after that was there was too many, too much brand, 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 brand in the beginning, in the end, showing around logos. Nobody, nobody gives a shit about brand, in my opinion, right? So users comes first. Brand is facilitating, is enabling the content, in my opinion. Make it from mobile screens. The numbers are through the roof. It's skyrocketing right now. So every content piece you create, think from the sensibility of a tiny screen holding in your hands, and that's it. Make it for mobile screens. Facebook native video and WhatsApp and Instagram will be big. And that's what I'm betting on. And CTA buttons, call to actions buttons on Facebook and on YouTube. Experiment with that, definitely. So it's not about being creative. It's about being creative consistently. Do 10 experiments and two will work, just like movie studios. Not every content piece or a video will go viral, but apply the same sensibility to all 10 experiments. And 80% of success is showing up. Execution is everything. Execution by far is everything. Because ideas are overrated. Ideas are everywhere. You can Google and find ideas. That's how we found ideas. Execution is everything. If somebody says, oh, I have seen this idea, all right, make it. Whoever executes today wins, right? So those were the last words about the learnings, the method to the madness. 
and that's pretty much it guys thank you very much it's been a pleasure thank you so much ashish for such an informative session the response has been really overwhelming we have had so many people coming up saying it's interesting so that's about All it right, guys have a great weekend and thank you very much for inviting me and thanks lots of you for the call my pleasure bye bye thank you okay bye bye